Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create effort-driven tasks. So I've got four tasks on the screen, and I'm just going to double-click on task A and show you where this feature is. So in task information, you need to go into the advanced tab. Once you're on the advanced tab, you get the fixed unit default type with the effort-driven tick not on. In there, you've got fixed duration and fixed work. So the effort driven on a fixed unit task will drive the duration down as you add extra resources. On the fixed duration task, it cannot drive the duration down because it's a fixed duration. So what it does, it drives down the effort of the resources, the work hours, if you like, of the resources. On fixed work, you don't get the option to take that on or off. It's on by default, so it will drive down the duration as you add extra people. But let's have a look at this fixed units. That's the default option. So I'll leave the tick off. I'll click OK. And then I'll go and create a couple of resources that we can use. So if I just do Bob, Bill, Ben, and Anne and they can all be on £10 an hour and £15 overtime as always probably need a pay rise now that's that so let's go back and start adding resources so the default setting is the tick is off if I assign resources resource assign resource if I assign and to this first task when I assign and to it nothing happens to the duration if I assign Ben to it as well after Still nothing happens because that tick is off. Now if I take those two off, remove, double click back into task A and put the tick on, let's see what happens now. So when I assign an, nothing will happen because that's the initial allocation. The tick only comes into play when you decide to add additional resources to that task so if i now add ben so let's assign Anne first let's get on there assign Anne. nothing happens if i assign ben now watch what happens the duration is driven down because you've got extra people on that task so that's what the effort driven tick does now on task b if i go double click into task b and do a fixed duration task with the effort driven off let's have a look at this click OK remember the duration cannot change so what does change if I assign Anne Anne gets 80 pounds if I assign Ben Ben gets 80 pounds now nothing's happening because there's no effort driven tick on the duration stays the same no matter how many resources you add similar to that one before you put the tick on if I now go and put the tick on the second one on task C, if I double click, I'll go and put the tick on, fixed duration, tick on, so it cannot drive the duration down, so what is it going to do? If I click OK, and if I assign Anne, nothing happens, Anne is on, 80 quid. Watch what happens when I assign Ben. Now it's divvying up the hours per person, so each of them are only doing half a day now, so that's what's happening. It's the effort-driven tick is driving down the actual hours per person on this task. Now the last one, task D, if I put that to fixed work, you don't get the option with the tick on or off. So watch what happens here. If I go and assign and to that one, nothing happens to the duration. If I assign Ben, it starts driving the duration down. So what's the difference, you might say, between that and this one? Well, it is the hours work. So if I take these two off, just remove those two, and then just move this out of the way. And if I just insert the work column, so right-click, insert column, and then type W to get the Ws up. I want work, the hours worked. The fixed bit on this task, task D, is the hours. So if I want 16 hours in one day, Let's have a look at that. So 16 hours worth of work in one day of assign and 
that's gone to two hours because she can't actually do 16 hours in, in one day. I assign Ben. That goes back down to one because the both of them can actually do 16 hours together. So that is the fixed element, fixed work, the hours. That's what's fixed. So that's just a quick video on how the effort driven tick works in Microsoft Project. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.